Hey guys, will Apple block hybrid apps from being published to the App Store? I got a few comments in my last video with regards to that. They're saying that they're going to block Cordova apps and so on. And uh, I asked for specific references because I just don't believe that's going to happen. It doesn't make any business sense to me. Apple uh, did not create the Swift programming language because they wanted to have a dominant programming language. They actually open sourced Swift. They don't make any money on Swift. They make their money selling hardware. That's what they do. They're a hardware company. And they know that without a steady stream of quality apps on their hardware, the hardware goes nowhere. So they wrote Swift, they created Swift so that they would have an easy to use programming language for, uh, for that hardware. So blocking hybrid apps has no advantage in terms of the end goal. That end goal is having more apps on your app store for your hardware. So that's reason number one. I don't see any advantage to Apple by blocking their uh, hybrid apps or perhaps Flutter if actually turns out to be pretty good. So another reason I don't think they would do it because they would piss off a lot of their partners. Adobe, Microsoft, Google, they would all be uh, whacked hard if they did this because Adobe's got PhoneGap, Microsoft's got Xamarin, Google, of course, got Flutter, and uh, they're also into the uh, hybrid ecosystem. They put, they've invested into that as well. Again, yes, they're competitors, but they're also partners. And you got to look at this from a business point of view. What's the business advantage for Apple to do this? There is none because the end goal is to just have more apps on your platform. Besides that, there are lots and lots of companies who've now developed their apps with hybrid technology, and uh, it would throw a big wrench in there, right? It would cause a lot of problems for a lot of companies. And again, it goes against the ultimate goal that Apple has, is to have more apps on their platform. And I know from people who work at very huge corporations, they develop exclusively now, almost exclusively on, um, on hybrid. So I just don't see why they want to piss these guys off. So I did some searching, though. My reasoning aside, my business reasoning aside, I started doing some searching, and I, I checked out this phone gap, Apple rejection, and so I'm looking, and we got some results here. And they're from months ago, but there's nothing on Apple. Like There's nothing from Apple here. If this is such a big move that would affect such huge corporations, Apple would um, announce this. So apparently from my researching, it comes from this Twitter post here and people are saying basically it's a spoof email, it's, it's, uh, it's fake. So I started looking around some other sites. Well, Apple removed and banned Xamarin, Xamarin and PhoneGap from the App Store. And apparently the author of the first tweet, this guy here, uh, Jay Zeferino, uh, came out with an update saying that the email we saw screenshots was spoofed. So I don't know. The fact of the matter is that months later, Apple has not, at least I can't find any announcements. This would be a huge announcement because this would put a big wrench into Adobe, it would put a big wrench into Microsoft, well, a small wrench in Microsoft. It would take a shot at Google. Yes, they're all competitors, but they also work together on projects as well. I don't see it. Also, I would hear from my friend who works at one of the largest software development companies in the world multi-billion, and he tells me that they do everything with a hybrid technology, Cordova specifically. So uh, I call BS on this. I would be very surprised if this was the case. Again, ultimately, Apple has uh, no motivation to do this. Why would they possibly do this when hybrid apps can perform very well? And apparently, according to, again, posting on the web, apparently, uh, reviewers at Apple recommend certain hybrid tools. Again, Apple's goal is not to promote Swift. Apple's goal is to have as many developers being able to develop for their platform. And I want to clarify my previous video where I said Swift is going down. I didn't mean to say or suggest that it was going to disappear. But I think that if Flutter is uh, actually workable and lives up to the expectations, that will cause people to, to want to use it versus going native whether it be Swift for iOS or Java and Kotlin for Android. Again, as smartphones become more and more powerful in terms of processor and RAM and so forth, the need for native app power is diminished because you just got such fast CPUs. 
And people say, well, Apple's not going to let their main language die. I, again, I'm not saying they're going to die, but at the same time, I can give you examples of, for example, Microsoft, their main language, VB. Who uses VB anymore? Nobody. 